But Brandon Nimmo Bram, said it. He, when you win, that kind of, kind of fades away for a second. No one remembers anything. Yeah. He had a series, two-game <sighs> series. Middle of everything. And what originally, back in the day, when we he first came up, I'm like, I'm not buying the you whole said smiling. You, like you didn't like him. I, I didn't it's know. I didn't though. know him, but his act to me when I first laid eyes on him, I'm like, I don't know. Like about she this is. Guy. I'm just happy to be here. But that's how he is. He's that's genuinely how he is. a good person. Yes, but is. you didn't see him smile for a little bit of these two games. I mean, he was downtrodden, yeah. shaking his head. But yesterday, I thought. I, I, I thought for me, we're going to get into this tape in a minute here. Garrett Cole established his mm -hmm. presence with authority with the heater. I mean, Mets eventually got to him a little bit in that fifth, sixth inning. He blew away Brett Beatty in that he first day. He was blowing Beatty. away, yeah. fools. Yeah. So there was a lot of takeaways. There was a lot of interesting moments. <laughs> IKF, I'm going to give him some love, too, yeah. because this is a guy last year, he got ridden hard in this town, ourselves included. And he decided, hey, I didn't earn the job coming out of spring training. They're going to give it to Volpe. I'm going to add value in different ways. He's played some center Huge. field. He, he's, he's done exactly that. And then to steal home last night. That, that was great. That's the stuff you dream about as a little leaguer right there. And he did it to perfection. So let's dive in. All right, Subway Series had Brendan do a couple mock-ups. Mets will it. Yeah, battle they, of old teammates right here. They got to be here. careful standing next to the ledge like that. I agree. But they had to have fun. This had to mean more to them locking horns last night. And to watch Garrett Cole go about it, 96% of the time he was throwing a four-seam heater or a slider. Mm. He incorporated two pitches for the entire time he was out right there. there. Mm. And it's elevated at the top of the zone. He's letting you know what's coming. Watch this, A.B. This is Francisco Alvarez. He's got 12 homers. First time up in the second. That's not well, he gets a call from Bill Miller, who was kind of all over the place last night. <laughs> but that's three heaters. Middle, away, up. Starling Marte, I'm going to start you with a slider. Nasty. That's the slider Scherzer's looking for right now. 1-1 one, one count, and now it's a steady diet of heaters. It's unbelievable. 2-1, fastball and a fastball count. I don't think you can handle it. 98, 99 up top, and see you later. So can we pause this real quick and bring up the first board? Because what he did last night was a little bit different than what he's done the entire season. He made a conscious effort. First 14 games, 55% of the time he's throwing you a four-seam fastball. Last night, almost 70% of the time. That's no thinking as an offensive player. I'm eliminating every other pitch but four-seam heater and maybe an occasional slider, wow. and he still was on top of his game. Mm. On the flip side, let's get into a little Justin Verlander. Pretty good. I, yeah, I thought he was pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah. He's got that nasty breaking ball working, and then towards the end, he just let you know in that fifth inning, I'm going to elevate some heaters just so everyone's not panicked about my fastball. Mm. Nasty breaking stuff. The ability to shape it different ways. Ooh. I mean, there's the old 12-6. When I used to get in a box against him, it was four-seam elevated heater and then that nasty breaking ball off it. He goes to Houston, he starts shaping a slider, and now he's got weapons to every quadrant. 96. And he walked off the mound right there, 96. I thought these were great shots. Angle's great. The angle's great. The difference between the curveball, the IKF, and the fastball. You try it. Talk about tunneling. Ugh. You try and figure out what pitch is coming in that moment. Pretty unbelievable what he was able to do. Mock neck. Let's put IKF in a mock neck real quick, but take a look at the pitch, pitch usage. Complete opposite of Cole. He abandoned his four seam heater until the fifth inning right there and went predominantly slider curveball and kept the Yankees at bay and gave his team a chance to win the ball game, which they eventually Lowest did. fastball usage all season. Take a look Early. at that. Interesting. Pretty interesting. Oh, of his career, excuse me. Wow. IKF. The steal of home was unbelievable. And he's helping them offensively, which is what I like. Like I said, this was a guy that lost his job. He took a lot of heat in this town last year. And he has given them a little love in center. He's given them some love in left, short, third, and right. I, can we pause this? Pause that. As a third base runner, you're a runner on third base. Your third base coach, Louis Rojas, goes, you can go as far as the third baseman will let you go. Mm. Eduardo Escobar's not that far removed in that situation. Yeah. Huh. And he's just letting 
IKF walk. But it looks Brooks, like Brooks Raley go- would see him, But right? he's going out of the windup. So once he pot commits to I'm going out of the windup, yeah. he can't stop IKF. Right. This is a situation right here where you're looking at it where Escobar's got to be like, Brooks, 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 step off. We got to entertain at least acknowledging that this could happen. Yeah. Okay. Run it. I mean, he reads this to perfection. Wow. Shuffle, shuffle, go. There's not even a play. And how Bill Miller gonna make a call right here? He's almost fearing for his life in that moment. <laughs> that four-seam heater was coming right <laughs> in his head. Is he safe? Out? Dug out. Replay Dug it. Out. Who knows? <laughs> no one knows. All right, let's go to Jeff McNeil. This was interesting. Wearing a, a, a sweater during. We're throwing. The Brendan's shoot? throwing everybody in a mock. I mean, that doesn't seem very. This is a documentary. Yes, by the it way. is. But did you think he was on the shortstop side of the bag? Is that what we're doing? Bill Miller's going to call it behind home plate, but the umpire standing five feet behind him uh, doesn't call it. That's what I don't get. Is he really? If that's the rule, then my man behind second base could have said, "Hey, Jeff, move your right foot." Yeah. Bill Miller comes out from behind home plate and makes that call. And Anthony Volpe, as a former veteran baseball player, when John Carlos Stanton's hitting off Adam Adovino, I can't have you dancing around at second base. Either steal the bag because Adovino's a 2-1 or shut it down. You can't do both. And then Brandon Nimmo, the two days he had. one nothing Yankees go up on a Stanton home run. You're thinking, here we go. Nimmo hits an absolute bomb. And then later in the sixth inning, he drops a routine fly ball. So he goes from all smiles to nodding his head no. He feels like he's letting everyone down. Then he's trying to do too much on this play. Did he feel like Vientos was going to get sent in that moment? It, it just strikes me. There's moments this year where Brandon has tried to put this team on his back. Remember when he tried to steal second down two in Detroit? Mm -hmm. But then he's able to have the moment and walk them off. So it was nice to see, I mean, just come full circle for Brandon Nimmo to kind of have that moment. He's one of the best players in the game, people. Bring up the board, especially center fielders. Take a look at this. Batting wow. average, he's first on base first. OPS plus, he's third. War, he's third. Eight years, 162 to Brandon Nimmo. He had you laughing, crying, all of it. It smelled like a seven-game series. Yes. And it was just two. You're right.